I reviewed 70 whiskies in about seven minutes just under a year ago and now it's time to return and make that around 100 whiskies. This time it's personal. Yes, it's time to make my part two of the pour and sip, slap or crap to decide if I keep my subscription or scrap their sample service. You got two choices, one of them's wrong. Welcome back to Jeff Whiskey. I'm Jeff, drinking whiskey. Let's crack on. Jeff Whiskey. If you haven't seen part one yet, I'll link it up here or down below, but spoilers. Is that a long enough wait? It somehow ended up being a tie at 35 slapped and 35 crap. That's not helped me at all if I'm gonna stick with it to pour and sip or not. 35 slap, 35 crap. I don't think you can get any more down the middle than that. Bada bop, boom, pow. Oh! Therefore, I decided to keep it going one box every two months with the main factor being I still had vouchers to use up. I've got good money to spend here for Christ's sakes. Now the vouchers have been spent and I'm again questioning my subscription and debating cutting back on it, especially as their member only deals seem a lot more lacklustre these days. You get 10% and that's me being generous. Wow. But anyway, let's get to the whiskies. Let's go to November 2022. The King's Balm Dream to Dram. Slap. <laughs> super slapped and I was annoyed that I didn't pick up the bottle when it was on the member store. Green Spot Chateau Montalea. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. Slap was like super sweet white chocolate. Port Charlotte Isla Barley 2013. Slap. I don't think it was good as the 10 but still very good. Amoric. Am Armoric. Ugh, right. Amoric or Armoric. I still can't pronounce these things. The Sherry Cask. Crap, really didn't rate it. The Tanique 11 year old 2010 cask, 356846, the James E.D. Master Malt Exclusive. Bit of a mouthful. That's what she said. Slap, it was a bit too pricey to buy, but yeah, really tasty little punchy dram. Moving on to the next box of January, 2023. Highland Park 15 year old Viking Heart. Slap, Berry, Berry Bow, Berry Bows, Berry Bro, Berry Bow. Come on, come on, you can do it. Berry Bros Rudd. Blended malt space side reserve. You see? You can do it. Slap. Surprisingly impressed by that one. The one Kalhita cask finished. Crap. <laughs> Pretty underwhelming stuff. The High Coast Timmer Peat Smoke. I honestly can't really remember this one, but I did note down at the time. Crap. <laughs> the Ben Rias 15 year old 2006 Old Particular Fantastical About Flavour Douglas Lang Master Mark Exclusive. Slap. So now moving on to March 2023. Teeling Pineapple Rum Cask. Crap. No, well, that's a shame. I was excited for this, but it took the standard teeling and poured like a drop of tinned peach juice in there, and it just made it worse. Red Breastless Stout Edition. Slap. If I haven't had a bolt before, I probably would have definitely purchased one. Glen Goyne, The Legacy Series, Chapter 3. Slap. The Singleton of Dufftown, 18 year old. Crap. <coughs> Powers, John Lane Release, 12 year old, Single Pot Steel. Super slap. Flying into May 2023, the Scarabus. I was really excited to try this one. This is a bottle that's been on my kind of like hit list to try. Crap. <coughs> Too watery, not enough flavour. Maybe like they do a cast strength version, which would be better. But yeah, really disappointed by that. Lagavulin, eight year old. Slap. With this bottle, I even tweeted pour and sip as it was only like a quid discount and it was still way cheaper elsewhere. They did come back to me and they did lower the price further, but still. I think it was about five pounds more than it is on offer in Tesco. Either way, it was a slap. The Brooklardy 10 year old 2012 beer barley, is it? Or bear barley? Right, what did he say? Slap. Millstone four year old, that boutique whiskey company. Slap. Really unique and I used the last of my voucher to buy a bottle of this. Review coming soon. Turntable track free purple haze. Slap. Overall, it was slightly a tad too sulfur for me to want to buy a bottle, but overall it was really solid whiskey. And this was one that appeared in the blind sample end of season Aquavite live stream. So at least I was able to get that one right. I've picked up some strange, I've scribbled down the notes I've pulled out. On one of them, I wrote the word goose. <laughs> Don't know what that means. <laughs> now, coming in on the last box, which came out this month, July, 2023. Never Say Die Barrel Strength Whiskey. 
Barrel number six. Slap. Interestingly, this is not on the Pour and Sip member store currently. Oh, there it is. Now what? Mick does US one, straight rye. Slap. I'm not the biggest rye fan overall, but this was solid. Boulder, peated malt, American single malt whiskey. Slap. American single malt seems to really be my jam. I really like this one and I really love the amazing Westland bottles I've tried. We'll be keeping my eye out on that. I'll be watching you. King's Barn Ducot. Slap. It's not quite as good as the Dream Strand, but still very tasty stuff. And onto the final whiskey, Campbelltown Lock, blended malt. Slap. I'm not the biggest Springbank lover. What was that? But this for me is better than the Springback 10. It's better than the Springback 15. Possibly better than the Springback 10 cash strength I've tried. What is wrong with you? But that's enough sacrilege. Campbelltown lock, solid. I think that this box has had a perfect score. Is that the first time that's happened? Perfect. So these whiskies are coming in with a big 19 slapped and only six crap. Maybe I've just become too soft. I had no idea you were such a softy. Therefore, if my maths is correct, over the 100 whiskies is about 61% of the samples are bangers, or at least pretty slappable. No, that doesn't sound right. I'm going to see what the next box is like on the member store and we'll decide then if I stay subscribed. I found some of my all time favorites via Pour and Sip, including both my Whiskey of the Year for 2021 and 2022. We like being winners. If you're subscribed to Pour and Sip, let me know your thoughts on it. And if you think I'll be better with like a different subscription service, let me know. Either way, all that's left to say is pop a like, slap a sub, all the best, and cheers to the next one. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Wait, hold up. I've just worked out my maths didn't quite add up. I've only had five boxes since the last review, which is 25 drams. I must have either missed like a box or I've counted extra. What? <laughs> <laughs> what an idiot. Oh, what a loser. In honesty, I'm far too lazy to film this again, but I'll quickly go and update the percentage. Right, let's do the math. Okay, somehow, the math still checks out and it is 61% slapped. Just go with it and fill in the blanks. All the best and cheers to the next one.